Hi everyone, hope everybody is doing fantastic. Um, this video should have come out um, yesterday, but I was a bit busy buying junk and polishing hammers and I never got a chance. So I've done it today, give a few more, a few more of you a chance to get in on the guessing. So the first guess of guess of the week is the uh, Sunday Car Boot Haul. Um, bit of fun. Um, and I bought this old wolf drill and the reason I bought it is, um, is because I know a guy, uh, Chris, who collects these. Well, I know of a guy who collects them, so I was hoping to send it his way, because I certainly don't want it, because it's massive. But he has got its original uh, chuck key, which is a bit of fun. And, uh, and it's got a long extension with another extension, but I certainly wouldn't be brave enough to plug it in, <laughs> put it that way. But so, anyway, so I saw it on the car boot, and I said to the guy, I said... Um, how much is your drill, my mate? And he said 15, and I, I thought, that's too much. I just walked away, and then I went and bought that hammer off the guy, which I'd just restored, and some other bits and bobs, a little pen knife, and some other bits. And I said, look, mate, I said, I, I'm interested in the hammer, but I'm only going to give it away. I don't really want it. Um, I can make you an offer on it, but it's going to be best and fine. And he went, yeah, make me an offer. I'm open to offers, mate. I says, I'll give you eight quid for it. I said... Eight's my best. I don't want to give any more, so it's up to you. And yeah, eight's fine. Yeah, no problem. So I, I, I thought he was going to be pretty fixed on the price for some reason, but he said, yeah, no worries. Take it, eight quid. So I took it um, and I left it in his van till I collected it. So we had one winner. Um, I thought that Dano's Toolbox on seven and uh, Glenn Crossnickel on nine would have won. So, and I actually thought you'd won, but when I looked at the, uh, went through the uh, guesses again, James Dawn, regular guesser, well done, mate. Um, you, you were the only one to get it spot on. So well done to you, James. So because you were the uh, only one, I'm going to start being generous now. So two for the winner. So you are one away now from um, getting a um, um, choice of one of those wrenches, bit of fun. So well done to you, James. Let's give James uh, a round of applause. Well done, James, again. So now we're going to move on to the massive job lot tool hall, which was basically a, a garage floor full. In my case, I bought way too much junk. Okay. Um, I'll, uh, I'll let's get some bits up and we'll get into the uh, garage tool hall. Right, guys, this is the uh, garage uh, tool hall, which was my mate. Um, it was an absolute nightmare buying this off him because he was um, just had half an hour to unload the van. So I was putting what I wanted to buy off him out in the rain and it was all a bit rushed. So how it works is I'd just show him a box and I'd say a price and he'd just go, yeah. Now, he only actually queried me on one thing and said a bit more. I went, so I'd give him a bit more and he went, yeah, no worries. So I give him a fair price because it's very important. It's his livelihood. He told me straight off the bat he paid £450 for the lot and he had about four drills two sanders and um some multi-tools and some other lots of other stuff i didn't show it in the first he had a lot of stuff it was a it was a good um he's had a very poor business time of it recently um with the covid he's been shut down um he's not been able to open uh for months he's had very few garage clearances and very few bids so i was really pleased that he got some good stuff so i wanted to make sure i gave him a fair price Plus, if I don't give you a fair price, he won't call me next time he gets something interesting. So it works both ways, you know. If he feels that, you know, you've not given him a fair price, he's not going to. So he only he only said one thing he actually wanted a higher price for. The rest of it, he went, yeah, that's fine. Because I know the price of it and I know what he needs to get out of it. So basically, so I bought a job lot and then I went home and I come back. And I picked up this Dremel and a, a box of nuts and bolts. And I had a quick look through to make sure there was nothing else. And I got a plastic tray as well for doing cleaning on and stuff. And then, then I give him a little bit more money. So the first lot was was ended up being a total of £340. And then I went back and then I gave him £55. 
uh, for the Dremel and then a, a box with some bits in it. So basically I gave him £395, which I think is a fair price. And going on your guesses, some of you were as low as like 150 and some of you <laughs> were at £1,200, eh, hey, Ian? <laughs> £1,200. Um, so he told me straight off that he, he paid... Uh, he paid um, uh, 450 he knows that I know I'm fair with him he's always fair if you're fair with people you become friendly with them and they offer you things you know if you're not fair then you don't get nowhere in life so we had a, a fair ground so I was happy with what I bought these are some of the highlights we've got this um, Veritas um, honing guide which is really cool we got a, a, a really cool Dremel and this one mine's a 3000 this is a 4000 so it might be a bit better with the attachments and all the bits and bobs. Um, and these uh, Marshall Town trowels are, are good ones. I've got a few of these and I find them really good for when I'm when I'm skimming a wall, which I do on occasion. Um, it's uh, These are the gold ones, so these are quite good finishing trowels. So two of those. There was lots of good stuff in there, and lots of hardware, lots of nuts, lots of bolts, lots of boxes of screws, about 20 boxes of screws and all sorts of treasures and stuff. Um, but a bit too much for me. I'm going to have to get rid of some of it. But most of it I've managed to find a home for. I'm just nearly in the process. So with with this uh, 395, we have two winners for that. So let's give them a... Well, let's see who they are first. So the first one is Scout Crafter um, 400 and Lance uh, Symcock. Symcock, Lance Symcock. So for... Um, let's have a look at the book. Oh, Scout Crafter, you've, you've won. You're winner number two. So everybody give Scout Crafter a round of applause. Well done, Scout Crafter. I know you only uh, take part in it as a part of a bit of fun. I know you're not really bothered about a wrench, but you know, you've got to pick a wrench now. They're the rules. And I, I've got some bits I want to post you. I bought some um, spark plugs and stuff I want to send anyway. So um, I'll uh, I'll be in contact. You can pick up, pick one. Number one has gone. At the end of the video, I'll put, um, I'll put, I'll put in a video of what's left for you to uh, choose from, John. Um, also, well done to Lance. You're on the book now. Only one tick, Lance, because you wish had to share the uh, winnings with John. So thanks again to everybody who's um, took part in it. It's all fun, a bit of fun. Um, well done to John, who's been supporting this guessing game and getting it off and having a bit of fun, which is great. I'm sure you make, um, you know, you'll pick a nice little wrench. I'm sure there's one, uh, one there you've not got to like the look of. Uh, thanks again to everybody who has, um, who's, who's took part. All right, thank you, bye. Hey John, um, these are the wrenches left if you wanna pick one. Number two looks to be an old early one um, with an old early scum screw. Number three is a Ford spanner with, um, looks like, um, like an oil tap at the bottom or something for opening oil. The Ford's a bit rub though. Number four, is an Abingdon, which I think you've already got one of those. Number five is quite a modern King Dick with very simple writing. Number six, looks like the serial number's a bit worn and it's a Ford again. Number seven, you can see the serial number and it's that looks to be quite an early one that. I think that's 18 something. Number eight is a good restoration project, mate. Um, all worn out. Uh, number nine um, is a number two, an early one again, but quite rubbed. And number ten is um, has got an arrow for a war effort. So they're the choices you've got left. Number one is gone, John. Thanks again for everyone who's took part and anyone who's got this far in the video. All right, take care, bye.